All right, whether you have leftover mohama or you're just looking for a new dry tuna recipe, I'm going to show you a simple summer salad that you can whip up in next to no time. Thanks for checking out Spanish Taster. If you've watched before and you're coming back, welcome back. Don't forget to subscribe. If this is your first time, I show you how to use Spanish ingredients and cook Spanish dishes on my channel. So today we're using mohama again. If you haven't seen my other videos, this is kind of like a tuna jerky. Here we go. The first thing we're going to do is to put some water in a saucepan to poach our egg. Next, we'll go ahead and prep the vegetables. So get some lettuce. Here I've used cos lettuce. Uh, you could also use iceberg. Something with a bit of crunch and some water content is good. Next, we're going to prepare some apple slices. So use a little citrus juice, lemon or lime. And I'm using a firm tart apple like this Granny Smith. So just core a washed apple and slice thinly on a mandolin. You want thinnish slices for a bit of crunch and sweetness, but you don't want huge chunks. Then just mix the slices so that the apples don't brown and just put that to one side. Okay, next I have a red capsicum or bell pepper for some crunchy color and just cut that in thin strips. Next, I have some fried and salted almonds. I have another video showing you how to make them, but you could also just use some lightly roasted slivered almonds. My dressing is just a basic vinaigrette. I'm smashing a clove of garlic to infuse it lightly. Uh, a little bit of lime juice is going in there along with the olive oil and some white wine vinegar and a little salt and some sugar as well. Now I'm preparing the mohama. So if you haven't seen this before, it's dried tuna and it's quite solid. So you can easily cut slices with a vegetable peeler like I'm doing here or a small paring knife works as well. I was going for something a little bit rustic and I wanted the edges to be ragged, but if it's too messy for you, you can grate it uh, for a more uniform look. It's got quite a strong flavor, so you don't need uh, very much. You can see I've just got this small uh, ramekin and that's sort of for one person. Then you just need to poach your egg. So break a room temperature egg into the gently boiling water and then leave it for about two to three minutes. And when it's done, you just remove gently with a slotted spoon and set aside to drain. Okay, to plate, you just need to build a base with your lettuce. Uh, I pour a little dressing directly on at this point or you could toss the leaves in the dressing before you put them on the plate, whatever you like. Then you just arrange the other ingredients. So I've just gone around with the apple and bell pepper slices. You don't need to use all the apple. Um, as I said, you don't want to kill it, but it does add a nice touch, I think. Then you just slide the soft poached egg on top and place the mohama pieces on top of that and sprinkle the almonds over the top. I sprinkle a little bit of salt. See salt on the egg where the yolk's going to break as well. And then just finish with a little more uh, vinaigrette to your taste. And there you have it, a great light lunch or dinner. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want more recipes and I'll see you next time.